Hello everyone, it's the Mongoose, and today we are doing a manga haul at Newberry Comics. Now, this is actually a backup to a backup plan, if that makes sense. I had a video plan where I was going to do a right stuff haul, but unfortunately, they said that an item was in stock when it wasn't, so my order hasn't gotten shipped yet. And then I plan on doing my first ever Kino Kunya haul. For some reason, they didn't want to take my debit card. So yeah, now we are at Newberry Comics. Hopefully they have manga because the way my luck has been going, it seems like I just can't get my hands on manga right now. But last time we went, if any of you saw that video, they actually had a really good selection of manga. They had a lot of titles that I hadn't really seen before and that other stores don't really carry in my area. So hoping that that is the case again and we can have a great manga haul. So let's go ahead and go inside because I am so excited to get this haul started. So even though this was a backup to a backup plan, it ended up being the perfect pick they had so many manga that I haven't seen before, and even manga that I haven't seen at Newberry itself. So I was just so happy. Sada Zanmai looked really interesting. I didn't realize that it was a spin-off manga until after I bought it. Spoiler alert, uh, I picked that one up, but yeah, it still looked like a really good story. They had this Ghost in the Shell Deluxe Edition, which was pretty heavy and I kind of wanted to pick it up, but I passed on it for now. This manga looked really good, not simple. I like the art style, it's very unique. Yadachin Bitch Club? Now, I've heard some things about this, and this was volume 4, they didn't have volume 1. Hello Melancholic seemed like a really nice yearity about music. There was a lot of new releases that I haven't seen yet. Now a lot of My Hero Academia stuff. Now if you see there, they had buy one get one 50% off again. I lucked out. I didn't even know that they were running this sale. I just went here because like I said, I, I couldn't go anywhere else. Like all of my other plans fell through. So I got lucky and I did not pass up on the sale. You know, I can't resist a good manga sale and we definitely took advantage today. They had a lot of cat themed manga on display. Now Yu-Gi-Oh! Unfortunately they didn't have Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1 which I actually wanted to pick up. It even came with a Yu-Gi-Oh! card per volume which was really cool. We Never Learn. I've heard that this is like quintessential quintuplets so I wanted to pick it up but I'm still in the middle of quintessential quintuplets so I think I'll wait until I finish that one. A little Zelda puzzle. Some really cool anime and manga themed stuff as well. I kind of wanted to look through more. Tokyo Mew Mew. I like the cover a lot. Now I do want to ask you if you see any manga that I passed up on that you know is really good, please let me know because I will go back and like I said there was just a ton here that I hadn't seen before so I was a little bit overwhelmed, I can't lie. Sweetness and Lightning, I really like the title. It seemed like a kind of a drama slash comedy. Ton of Toilet Bound, ton of Seven Deadly Sins. Even Sailor Moon, Princess Jellyfish, they just had a lot of OGs as well, which was really cool to see. I feel like a lot of times I don't necessarily see volume ones of a lot of these manga, but it was nice that they had them. Ran in the Grey World. Now this manga was absolutely gorgeous. I love the artwork. It had a nicer cover. It had like a little outside shell on it and the artwork was just beautiful in my opinion. It seemed like a really cool like fantasy story as well. Message to Adolf. Now I was actually looking for Pluto volume one because they had it last time and I really wanted to pick it up. 
but unfortunately someone grabbed like all of them. They only had volume seven. Moving along, they just had so much. Volume one, Hunter Hunter, little plushies. They're just a great experience in here. I really do want to go back again. I haven't been in a few months and I forgot how much awesome stuff is in the store. Like this Naruto box set, but it was box set number two. I do want to tell you guys that I actually called pretty much every single one of my local comic stores and asked if they had manga and all of them said they had little to no manga. So I was planning on going to like a local comic store to do a video, but nobody had anything. So I've just been striking out all week, but this definitely made up for it. Girls Last Tour. I've been wanting to read this for a while. I just can't seem to find volume one. Galaseum looked super retro, which caught my eye. Fly me to the moon. I'm still searching for volume one of this. I cannot seem to find it. When I do, I will be picking it up. I did try and go out of my genre a little bit, but I kind of failed. I'm not going to lie this time. Erased? I haven't even seen Erased ever. I've seen the anime, but I've never seen the manga in person. I know it was a controversial ending, but the lead up to the ending was just great in my opinion, and I, I really love that anime. They do have a lot of classic series as well, just like One Piece, Naruto. One Week Friends, this seemed pretty interesting. I like the artwork. There's just a lot of manga in here that had fantastic artwork that I hadn't seen before. Like this, Not Your Idol. This story sounded really, really good. It's definitely a little bit more dramatic and heavy, but it's something that I definitely am interested in. And like I said, look at the artwork. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. No Guns, No Life. I've heard good things about this, but I wasn't really feeling Shonen-esque today. I have to like really be in the mood for Shonen, and when I do, I enjoy it. Monster. I would love to read Monster, but Volume 1 is just non-existent at this point. I gotta get into My Hero Academia at some point. They had My Little Monster Volume 2. I haven't read Volume 1 yet, but I do have to get around to it. A ton of box sets as well, I will say. They had a lot of box sets. Heroku-chan, no Volume 2 yet. I'm still waiting on my Volume 2. It's been pushed back like 20 times. They even have some classics like Kuroku's Basketball. No volume one. It kind of was a theme today. Laid Back Camp. This is something I saw in Right Stuff and I thought about picking it up there. Kaguya-sama Love is War. Now I have been looking for volume one for quite a bit. I don't know if there was a recent reprint or what, but you know I am not passing on that again. <laughs> Kaiju Girl Caramelize. Now this cover just caught my eye. It was absolutely beautiful in my opinion. The artwork was really nice. And the story was interesting. It was definitely a little bit weird. It was like a supernatural love story. It was definitely something that I haven't really kind of seen before. Moving to the next section, the last section unfortunately. Aoharu Ride. Now this is a manga, once again, that I have been looking for for a very long time. I've been trying to get my hands on volume one and just my luck, they had it today, just like Kaguya-sama. So um, I was very, very happy about that. Ton of AOT, of course, of course, of course. I still haven't watched the new season yet. I'm waiting till it's all out, but I'm really excited to see the final conclusion. Also a little bit nervous, I can't lie.
Blue Period Volume 2. It's just a common theme. Volumes of manga that I cannot find anywhere else. Newberry Comics coming up clutch. I instantly snagged Blue Period Volume 2 because I really, really loved Volume 1. Little Nezuko plushy chillin'. Now, even after I filmed this, I, I went back around like two or three more times to like see if I missed anything because they just had so much. Banana Fish and Bakuman, no volume one. I really want to read both of those series so bad. Chainsaw Man, they're finally printed more Chainsaw Man. Last time I was here, they had full clay more too, and they're out of it, unfortunately. So, hoping that they restock some of these series. Dead Man Wonderland, I was thinking about getting this. I passed on it last second, but it definitely seems like a really good story. And last but not least, Demon Slayer, so I think I've made my choices. So Newberry was running a sale again and I couldn't help myself. We have 13 total titles here. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my voice is a little bit shot. This is the third time I've tried to do this. First time was muted, the second time I didn't hit record. But aside from that, I'm trying something a little bit different. I want to put more of a spotlight on the manga itself, so I'm not going to be showing my face in this part of the video. I'm just going to be showing the manga. But our first pickup is Bloom Into You. Looks like a really nice Yuri romance, something that I've kind of had my eye on for a bit, and I'm excited to read it. Next up is Harukano Receive. I've actually already read this manga by the time that this video is out. It looks a little bit lewd, but it's about the world of beach volleyball, something that I really don't know anything about, so I picked it up kind of for that reason. And it's just an overall enjoyable read. It's about Harukana who moves in with her cousin out of town, and her cousin really loves beach volleyball, but she ends up being too short to just continue her path. Harukana comes in and finds a passion for it and reignites her cousin's passion for it as well. It's just a nice read. I would definitely recommend it. Now the girl from the other side, this looks like a really spooky manga and I do not have enough spooky manga in my collection I need to be scared a little bit from time to time hopefully not too scared but you know just the right amount so I've picked up the girl from the other side it's something that I've been wanting to pick up for a while now and I just keep passing on it but not this time next up is Kaguya-sama love is war now I have never seen volume one and I'm not gonna pass up on it when I finally did so I've picked it up I've heard the manga is great I've heard that the anime is great I haven't watched it so I'm really really excited to jump into this this series. Now, I think it's going to be tough to get the rest of the volumes, but at least I've got volume one. I'm happy to at least be able to start it. Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. Now, this is a four panel manga. I don't really have many of those in my collection so far. It seems like it revolves around the world of manga itself. And if I can get any more insight through manga about manga creation, I'm down for it. That's really cool in my opinion. So I think that I'll like this story no matter what, just because of that factor alone. So I'm excited to get into it. It's actually the only volume one there and the rest of them was like volume six on. No matter what you say, Furisan is scary, volume 2. Now, I really hope that they do Furi some justice in this manga because I really like her as a character. I'm invested in her for some reason, but she got shot down so much and judged so much in the first volume. I hope that she gets a, treated a little bit better in this volume, and I hope that the story is just done a little bit more justice overall. I think that it was good, but it wasn't where it could have been, so I'm hoping that volume 2 does that for it. Now your idol, this is a shoujo beat manga, it's a little bit more heavy it seems like. It's basically about an idol who decides to leave that world after an assault and she just abandons all femininity and just leaves the world of idols in Japan and it, it seems like an interesting story in a sense about idols in Japan and also how somebody deals with a traumatic incident. So it's definitely more of a heavy manga. I'm interested to see how the story goes and the artwork is absolutely gorgeous in it as well. Orasama Teacher, now this is about mafia who is a complete delinquent. She gets expelled from school and she ends up saving somebody in the streets who ends up 
being a teacher. Now she decides that she's gonna change her entire life, her persona, and just be a good person from now on after that incident. And the issue is her past kind of catches up and creeps into her life again. So it seems like an interesting story where somebody tries to balance a new life and tries to be better with fighting off the demons of their past. Another shoujo beat, by the way. And this is one too. It's kind of a theme here where it's just shoujo beat after shoujo beat. It's just a shoujo beat haul. But it's so cute it hurts. It's like a twin situation, I guess, where one of them is really into school and academics. And the other is just into living life and doesn't really love academics. So I think what they do is like a switch situation where one twin does the work for the other one. And I'm not really sure what happens after that. It just seemed kind of lighthearted and fun. And I like reading mangas like that sometimes. Sadazanmai. Now, somebody please let me know if I have to read or watch anything before this. I did not realize that it said spinoff on the back in bold fonts. I just somehow didn't see that but i really want to read this it seems like a good story so i'm hoping that i can it's about two cops who find a baby lying on a plate in the streets and they end up taking it in as their own and taking care of it so i'm interested to see how the story evolves Ao Haru ride now i've been waiting for volume one it's been like sold out everywhere that i've been looking for a while and i just happened to come across volume one at newberry so i was not passing up on it, it seems like a really nice romantic story that has more dramatic elements in there i'm usually like rom-com for the most part but I, I'm definitely interested to see how this goes because it seems more on the dramatic side rather than the comedic side and I've been waiting to read it for a while so I'm very excited to dive into this it's probably going to be my first read aside from Harukana Receive. Blue Period Volume 2. I have been waiting for Blue Period Volume 2 for a while. It's been sold out pretty much everywhere. Maybe they've done reprints recently. Either way, I'm, I'm just ecstatic that I finally got my hands on it. I really resonated with Volume 1 and it was an unexpected great read in my opinion. I know that the story's popular and it got an anime and all that, but I wasn't necessarily expecting to love it as much as I did. So I'm very happy that I can finally get into Volume 2 and continue the story because I think they're in Volume 5 right now, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even more. So I'm excited to keep this one up. Now, last manga in the hall is Ran in the Grey World, and this is out of my genre for sure. It's out of my realm, and it's in a completely different realm because it is about magic. It's about Ran, who wants to just advance her age because she wants to be a sorceress like her mom. But what happens is she advances her age, but not her mind. So she ends up becoming a sorceress and goes out into the world. But there's a bunch of dangers, and she's super inexperienced because she's still a kid on the inside, if that makes sense. So it seems like an interesting story in a lot of ways. There's magic, there's inner struggle, there's drama. I'm definitely interested to see what happens in this fantasy realm. And on top of it, the artwork is beautiful. So that's it for today's manga haul. I hope that you all enjoyed coming with me to Newberry Comics and you enjoyed my pickups. I was actually very fortunate, although it wasn't my first choice in a video and in a manga haul. I ended up getting really lucky finding a bunch of manga that I haven't really seen before and some pickups that I've been waiting for for a while now. And on top of it, they're running buy one, get one 50% off. So all in all, I would say it's a very successful day. Next video, I think my right stuff haul is still coming, so we'll do a right stuff haul at some point. I still want to order from Kino Kunya, and I also still want to continue that random manga series as well. I really enjoyed that, so be on the lookout. We have to do reviews as well. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff coming, so hope that you enjoyed today's video. Hope that you had some great pickups yourselves if you picked up anything new, and I hope that you're enjoying whatever you're currently reading. I will see you next time. 